may be running, some may not be running. Okay. So started automatic means when the computer starts, automatically the service will start. And there are a lot of services for a lot of different things. So in this, if you just type P, you select something and if you type P, you go to print spooler service. Okay. So sometimes uh, if it's not a hardware issue, you may get some problem with print spooler, then you may have to restart the service. You may have to restart, or if they stop, you have to start the service. So if this service is stopped, you will not be able to print. Now this is one way to disable the printer. See, for everything you have service, even for plug and play. If you stop the service, plug and play will not work. remote desktop, remote connections. As I told you, you should be print, uh, able to print thick papers. I think it's called GSM. It's uh, like the common thickness can print is GSM. Find out how many GSMs it can print. So the requirements of the client, okay? So and, uh, I should be able to print from my phone. Print from phone. That means mobile. You check your emails and everything in your phone, right? So if you want to take a printout or something, you should be able to print from your phone. So your phone should be able to print from your printer.
scan all the papers one by one and should give it in a PDF format. Okay. Host. Okay. Okay. So mine is mixed with the host. Okay, that's why I'm getting the connection. You're not getting the connection, right? How can we configure it? Yeah, if you want, now it's not necessary because if you want internet, if you want internet, you can access from the host. Right? You don't actually want internet in the VMware, yeah, mm. inside the custom. Okay, so actually the setting is if you go to edit, uh, virtual network editor, the VMware. <coughs> so I'm using this one, uh, VMNet 8, that's NAT for me. For you, it's what? VNet 0. VNet 0 custom. Yeah, that's VNet 0, that's a separate network. Mm -hmm. So they have created a separate network uh, in the VMware. So if you want, you can change settings. You click on change settings, but it's better you don't do that so that you know it will not affect the outer network. If you click on change settings, it goes to the last one. I don't have that option. The change settings option is on there. The button. You have to select the right. You may have not many in this. Yes. Custom, yeah. You are already changing. If you put a NAT shared host IP address with the VMs, so then you will get internet. But host only means private network. That means this is one network. If you add another machine, that will be another network. So they all become one network. All the machines, they all become one network. Yes, that was Okay, so if you make it NAT, you will get connection. Okay. Now you don't have to change it, you cancel it, no problem. Yeah. Keep it in local. Mm -hmm. okay. You don't have to change it. Okay. Okay. When we come to the networking topic, we will see that what is that. Now if I tell you what is network, you don't know what is network. You have to give the IP address, the ranges, okay. There are many things. So now you can just keep it, if you want you can use NAT, if you get NAT you will get internet but you don't need internet right now, right? You can just keep it post only. Correct? Okay, right? VMware, VMs internally in the private network.
Okay. He's changed settings, man. Change settings. Yes. Look somebody to virtual and the sound in your virtual and it's a virtual. Then you can connect to a host adapter to this network. Yeah. You check box. First check box. Connect to the remote. Apply. You want to know? That one. How many settings are you going to have?
can restore the default because by default it needs to be external network. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think they changed some, they added some network, they removed some network. So by default it is not. Mm -hmm. now, now if we can do this. So it gives its own IP address ranges. Mm -hmm. It's better you reset to default. Mm -hmm. But uh, what they, they are doing is that is also good. Because now what we are doing is we are using the exposed network. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. So sometimes you may mess up the physical network with this VMware. So that's why they may uh, separate, they change it, they add a separate network so that is mixed up to the external network. Mm -hmm. So whatever things happen, it happens, it stays in the VMware network. Mm -hmm. It is also a good one. This one is more open. It is a restore, it's not the power of not the power of the VM. It's a default. So only then it fixes. If you do it, it doesn't fix it. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Power of force. Power of force.
just point out to that ISO file and then click OK then you can restart the operating system and I think you have to press F12 but you will get a very short time uh, you can restart after this Restart, you see, uh, you will lose the mouse uh, control. Okay, so you have to click inside, you have to use the mouse to click inside, then you press F12. Okay, otherwise, it will be the F12 of the post. So, you get a very short time. Okay. You get only, I think, one, one second or so. See, I missed it. I missed it. Uh, network boot, sir? Uh, no. USB boot. No, sorry, CD. What, what do you have? Uh, F12. Well, I just press F12 to restart, uh, and it's all black screen now. Uh -huh. I don't think this is it. What do you need? A uh, network boot from Intel E1000 no. and find network. See, it's doing Pixie boot now. It will take some time this week. Okay. Uh, operating system. So it's searching for. The network is there any operating system available in the network? Okay, in VMware you don't have control on delete. 